The car's been jacked up and to gain access to the inner wing, uh, removed all the screws on this very light uh, inner mudguard and then having to hold the camera with one hand but undid the, uh, the two bulbs from these holders. Easier to do with two of course. Um, that's the uh, the main lamp and then the indicator bulb coming out it's the uh, new Philips uh, heat sink and lamp going in LED headlamp the, uh, the ballast is still hanging down which is going to be uh, tie wrapped to the uh, bracket that holds the inner mug guard. There's the LED indicator bulb going in. This is checking the uh, the route for the for the wiring to clip the ballast on. Gives it out of the way and uh, stops any uh, weight being put on the leads. So I'm plugging one of the uh, halogen lamps. The, uh, there's a key on the uh, plug so that you can only assemble it one way round. This is a steel shop say so have uh, the ballast fixed on the other side and the uh, heat sink there again the uh, heat sink tie rack too showing plenty of room for the heat sink now this is one light offside uh, proper and now for a little driving test now I think that this these lights are actually the angel eyes and the camera's picking them up as if they're um, quite lights because when I get round the corner and I do switch the, the dip lamps on you will see uh, how bright this is my first trip out in the dark the first time I'd had the headlights on so, so yeah, I still reckon that if these aren't headlights or side lights or anything only because when we get round the other side and I say onto the road and I switch the lights on, woof makes a change to be able to get out of here without some blimmin' car coming along it was because uh, Victoria was on I think all the women were keeping the blokes in to watch it now look at these, these are the dipped LED headlights looking for a, a dark road but didn't want to go too far from the house because I had the GoPro fixed on the screen with its uh, rubber sucker now this, this chicane that they put here is rather nasty for the people that live up here You've, you can see tire marks and I bet there's been some mag wheels cluttered on there now this is this is up onto the mains now they look to me as if they're set a bit low they could do with a bit more reach to them lighting up a cap you can see the extra spread of light once these go back down onto the dip back down onto the dip yes there's the dip now it's still a good light but you can see the extra that uh, the new LEDs are giving you and if I can get those two patches of brightness a bit more level with the ground I think we've got a fair old reach of light there now the only thing I didn't do was ever run the uh, headlights with the old halogen bulbs but looking at how 
a different temperature and uh, light output. I can't imagine them being anywhere near as good as this. Oh, one um, word of warning: don't clamp the uh, the GoPro to the screen and have the uh, automatic wipers on if you go out and then get caught in a shower because in a minute it starts raining and the wiper started and it, it actually flipped over the top of the GoPro hopefully not knocking itself off or damaging the um, damaging the blade or the rubber incredible wiper blades on the, on the car That's gone back onto the onto the dipped headlights, onto the mains. See the two patches of light right in the centre of the uh, the road, and they need separating them right and lifting up a bit. This picks out quite the, uh, the damage to the road. So the, there's often some big potholes in here that you wouldn't want to go down. the few houses and then after a while I can see in the distance uh, a car coming in a little while and I think right there's not many passing spaces here so I pull over this is the dip and I just wait here and uh, the uh, camera's battery decides to, to pack up but it gives a good show of how good the lights are with this modification so well worth doing and probably should be provided by BMW in the first place. Good. See how that goes. Stop the recording.